teachers. My folks were music teachers. Okay. So, like from the get go. Yeah. I started. I was learning music before I was out. Like they so were putting in the womb. Yeah, they were putting headphones on my, on my mom's belly when I was yeah. when I was in the womb. Yeah. Yeah. So I I was. I started playing probably at eight, six, six years old. I'd go down to the band room where my dad worked mm -hmm. and after school and play on tubas and beat on drums and yeah. whatnot. I really started playing guitar when I was about 15. Okay. That's when I picked it up and said, I want to do this. Man. Yeah, uh, the sound man at church gave me a few lessons, showed me some chords, yeah. showed me a scale, and said, that's all I know. Yeah. And then I just turned on the radio and played along with, with that, and that was, that's how I learned how to play guitar. You excited about this? Man, I am so stoked. I'm hiding out behind these amplifiers. Yeah, a little nervous. Yeah, I feel like Jimi Hendrix back here. Yeah. When did you start going, doing gigs in front of about people? About 21, 22 years old. I was old enough to get into bars and I could, yeah. <laughs> I could go play and make money. Yeah. So I, I started doing that and yeah. played in a couple of little country bands and they let me do some blues songs and I got my own band and yeah. started playing blues. So the name of your band now is? The Oliver White Group. And it was a side project. I had another a blues band called Little Brother mm -hmm. and uh, another friend of mine said, hey, let's do this little blues project on the side. And I'm like, all right. We got a gig and we didn't have a name and I said how about the Oliver White group until we find something better yeah we never found anything better yeah. <laughs> who are like your music music wise that that got you started mm -hmm. who do you think that really influenced you do you think oh gosh I mean I would say like some classic rock bands like um, and they're not even classic rock now or they're classic rock now they weren't classic yeah. rock then, but Metallica and um, uh, you know, the, the metal bands of the 80s, I was really into that okay. at that point. And that's, that's when I started picking up the guitar and trying to learn. And yeah. uh, Kirk Hammett from Metallica started yeah. talking about Stevie Ray Vaughan and these influences that he had that were all blues based. Mm -hmm. So I started digging into that and, and I was, after that I was all blues. Man. <laughs> Where did you learn how to sing? Oh gosh. Um, I would say my vocal influences come from, of course, Stevie Ray Vaughan, like uh, Lenny Kravitz. Um, I heard some Lenny and some music you were playing. Oh, yeah. I've, I've always loved his voice yeah. and, the, and his style altogether. Just, yeah. just beautiful, creative person. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, Doyle Bramhall II and, and Doyle Bramhall Sr., both of those guys yeah. um, really influenced the way I sing. And Ian Moore. Ian Moore, from, uh, he's from Washington State. Yeah. Um, those people really influenced the way that I sing and I try to project my voice. Um, Chris Whitley. Mm -hmm. um, he's passed away now, but his voice was really influential on me in the uh, early 2000s. So, did you ever have any voice lessons or anything? Like I said, I, I grew up just, with, my yeah, mom was the choir director, always, my, dad was, yeah, my dad was the band director, and then they were the, uh, the um, uh, music directors at the Baptist Church too, So, yeah. like a team. Yeah. And so that was my training. So, uh, Oris, yeah, your bass player, he's been with you for a while, oh, right? Yeah, like, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think, probably, um, 13 years and we've played together we played together long before that too yeah. just off and on but yeah he's been with me solid for 13 years I, I enjoyed it I was fortunate enough to start playing with a guy like that like that's when I started playing I had to yeah. keep yeah. up with that when I first plugged it in last night it didn't sound quite right I had a little bit of a me ah. <laughs> no. that's not what I expected at all <laughs> Woo. No. February 4th was that our last Rehearsal February 4th. Around that, yeah. 79. And then I've got some Gretsch Renowns. All Maple Gretsch Renowns, which I'm. Yeah, it's still up. Yeah. It's suede. And it's then suede. Uh, yeah. on this album, yeah. when we were in here, when you were recording, you had John. Yeah, John Breedlove from yeah. Texas. Uh, I played with him off and on for decades. Yeah. Because uh, Oris and John and I both, or all three, um, kind of run, ran around in the Grayson County area at the same time yeah. uh, during the break time days. If anyone's from oh, yeah, they know time. all about break time. Yeah. And we would go to jams and inadvertently we'd just all end up together playing on stage. And what are we going to do? I don't know. What do you know? What do you know? Yeah. And that's how we got to know each other by playing music. Yeah. 
Now these three songs that you recorded in here already, what are they and where um, did they come from? One is called, Are We Gonna? <laughs> yeah. And it's about, um, you know, a, a relationship where um, there are always struggles in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you, at some point you have to decide, are we going to make this work or not? So um, right. let's talk about, are we going to live with and for each other yeah. and make a love, you know, mm -hmm. make make a life that we love yeah. that's kind of where that one goes um, just your basic song really you know kind of a love song yeah yeah Um, Mother is a song about how all of us on this planet are intertwined and how mm -hmm. um, unless we can come together, all of us come together, we're not going to solve problems. Yeah. We're just going to keep creating problems. And it's just, um, I try to be clever in the way that I say it, yeah. you know, so that uh, it's fun to listen to. Yeah. Gotcha. So that's what that song's about. Sisters and brothers we're all a part of each other We've got the same mother We could all be free if we just learned to live in harmony Oh yeah Hot shackles on me Cold shackles on you We can't come together Way is a, about um, I'm trying to think of how to word this. Um, it's about um, the civil rights movement that kind of reared its ugly head again in 2020, mm -hmm. and some of the things that took place. And um, it's just my it's kind of my thoughts on on that moment in time. <laughs> Something's been on my mind for a long time And the urgency is more than we can stand There's a problem that we see Let's address it peacefully And make a change, it's getting out of hand You've all been briefed to the situation I like those harmonies you were doing. Oh yeah, right. gonna, are, are we gonna do? Embellish. I don't want to overstep. I know where I know my place, and that's right. that's to support the song, to support the song right. And then uh, this acoustic down. song that you're doing. The as acoustic well. song is called Water, and it's about my struggles with alcoholism and mm -hmm. addiction. Um, and the the story behind it is, whenever I go to a venue, when we we go play at a venue. People will come up to us and say, hey, we love y'all. We want to buy y'all some drinks. What do you mm -hmm. want? And I say, the drummer will have a beer and a shot. The bass player will have a beer and a shot. And I'll have a, just a water. Yeah. And they go, all right, a beer and a shot, a beer and a shot. And you just want water? That's it? Yeah, yeah I'll just have water. I don't drink. Okay. So they come back and they're like, here you go, guys. Beer and a shot, beer and a shot. Cheers. And I don't have a water. She don't ask many questions. Fills my mouth 
of relies Send me out with no directions To feel an true despise Oh, we're looking forward to this coming out. Oh, I'm looking forward to it too. I bet you are. Yeah. All right. It's been a while, right? <laughs> it has. It yeah. has. That's pretty cool. So, yeah. I'll let you All get right. back to doing your thing. I'm ready to do it. All right, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. Thank you very right. much. That's what those songs are about. Just things I try to write songs that are um, that are honest, um, yeah. things that I've gone through, or things that I know that people I know people who have gone through things, mm -hmm. and um, I want to give people a perspective into other people's lives or my life. Yeah, and um, I think that's what being an artist is about—to kind of try to broaden people's horizons yeah. and their minds. In mine. Yeah. <laughs> if you know what you want from me. You're gonna have wife. to tell oh, me. Yeah. <laughs> huh? yeah. You want me to stay. <laughs> Say you want me to stay. I know I drove you away, yeah, baby. And it drove me crazy. Ooh, I got to let you know. I didn't want to put you down. No, no. Are we gonna live the life we want to live? Are we gonna give love to each other? Everything is different now. Everything is changing. So much on your table. And no cards up my sleeve I guess you thought that I'd come around Thought that you could change me Ooh, When it comes to who we are We shouldn't have to change at all